Good evening, Andy. Thank you for joining us after defeat here at St Ives Town. Um, Andy, we started brightly, but we were literally left with a mountain to climb given the half-time scoreline. Yeah, like you said, it was about being positive from the start, and I thought we were. I thought for the first 10 minutes we were very, very good. Had chances to go in front, they defended well. Um, didn't take those chances, and from then on until half-time, um, way below the stands we've set. Um, not what we're all about. Uh, not good enough in either boxes, uh, which is what we've been good at all season. And ultimately come in with a mountain to climb, like you said, at half-time. We had a lot of attacking players on that pitch today, weren't we? Ty Deacon, Dan Creaney, Omer Keown, all starting. And it was an attacking setup. And um, I don't know, it must be so frustrating sometimes when you can't seem to get the right creativity on the pitch and, and create chances. Yeah, it, I mean, I think we've had chances. I mean, I'm talking more second half than first, but we've had the chances and not scoring. And ultimately, at the moment, every time someone has a spell of pressure, they do score. Um, I've just said in there, and it's, it's basic football. If you don't, if you don't defend well and don't score goals either, it's, it's not a good combination. You don't win games of football, and that is ultimately what's happened again today. Very similar to Needham in the fact that we didn't defend the goal well enough. Similar to last week, we didn't defend the goal well enough. And say even second half, we had enough chances to get something out of the game. By chance, I mean getting in good areas in the final third and making the wrong decision. Yeah, they got some good blocks in, they're fighting for the lives, but we're better than that. And that, that's not the standards we've set throughout the season. So very disappointed again today. I think sometimes, you know, you can look at luck in football. and. We did create chances, as you said. Second half, we could have scored goals. We, it was through decision-making being poor or just blocks, like you say. But there was one particular moment where uh, Kate has gone through with James Dadge. He's hit a shot low to go under the keeper's arm. He's hit the underside of his armpit, bounced up, hit the crossbar and stayed out. I mean, it, that's what I mean by look sometimes. <laughs> yeah, and, and if I'm being honest... and my sad hat on I'm feeling sorry for myself I could say we've had absolutely no luck again today the ball's not ran for us at all uh, the referees not give us a great deal but ultimately we can't keep saying that we have to make our own luck we have to go and score goals we have to, we have to take our chances we have to defend better you can't allow people to have a free header in your six yard box to score that, that, we can't do that that's not luck that's not bad refereeing that's bad play yeah. um, and I'm very honest with you know football matches yes we've had very little things run for us today Nothing. all their blocks have gone where they wanted to do Nothing's dropped for us, but we have to be better. We can't keep saying that. Yes, we hope it turns. You know, I'll go back to the goal against Bromsgrove when Creaney scored from a free kick, which was bizarre, really. We had a bit of luck that day. So I am a firm believer that it does even itself out across the season. At the moment, we're not getting the rub of the green, but we have to we have to find a way to win the next game, which is Monday. That's their focus. Um, I've just said that in there. You know, you've got two ways to go with the games we've got left this season. You either feel sorry for yourselves and we just drop away, or we roll our sleeves up, we get back at it, get back doing what we're good at, out fighting teams, being better in both boxes, being clinical, defending well, and we'll pick points up. If, or, you know, it's their decision, really. Well, obviously, with the result today, was there any lingering doubt that we could be challenging for that top spot with Colville? Even though Colville have dropped points today, we have lost. So, at the end of the day, it really comes down to a battle now for positional um, you know, between ourselves, Leyston and um, Nuneaton, rush all in the playoff position. So, three or slash four games to go with the outcome of the abandoned game still to be decided. But starting Monday, surely it's about trying to finish second now against Stratford and onwards. Yeah, no, nothing's changed from the, when I first came in this time last year. It's about getting as many points as we can, and that's how I play every game. So, yeah, it's about us getting as many points starting on Monday. So, I watched them last week win. Uh, Get another tough game. You know, they're, they're, they've found a bit of form as well. Um, they've got some good players. There's no easy game, and we're going to have to be better than we've been the last couple of games to get anything. But yeah, the remit is to get as many points as we can. Yes, we've assured our playoffs. You know, we're in the playoffs. That was my remit at the start of the season, but we've set better standards than that now. I want to finish as high as we can. Is there um, some truth in the sense as well that if you go into the playoffs on a bad run, then you know, players are lacking in confidence, they're overthinking things maybe, then that doesn't bode well for the playoffs themselves. You want to go into it confident. Yeah, of course you do. You want to go in with lads that are flying, of course you do. Absolutely. At the moment, we're not. But like I said, we've still got three straight four games to turn things around. I've got enough good players within the squad. Yes, we've had a few injuries and people being unavailable, so that's not helped us. But there's still enough within that change room in the group to beat you know, most teams in this league, every team before on our day. But equally, as we've shown the last few weeks, if you're not at it and you have people not on it, you can get rolled over by anyone. Um, and and that, that's been the case. 
um, in the last few weeks in certain games. Andy, uh, I've got to know you well enough to know that you you, are, will, you will answer this honestly. Um, there obviously with the recent results, you know, certain fans will be pointing fingers and, and making certain claims. Um, but I just wanted to ask you on record, actually, how far you felt the club had come since you took over last season when, of course, we were languishing and we went on a fantastic run and this season has largely been positive. Yeah, absolutely. It's come a long way uh, in a year. We all know that. Um, but, you know, I've set high standards and I always have throughout football and you know, the better I do, the better I want to do. So I'm not happy how it is at the minute. You know, we have to turn that around. Yes, the club's in a better position, the crowds are better, there's more people attending, more people supporting the club. I think the link with the players, stroke supporters is better. I mean, the fans have been really good, particularly away. Um, so yeah, there's loads of improvements and yes, we're in a good place. This time last year, when we took the playoffs, when I come in, of course we would. But then four weeks ago, we were sitting top, or three weeks ago, or even last weekend, we were sitting top, albeit with games against us, it seems, in having games in hand. But no, you know, I'm happy where we are overall. I think we've got good players. I think the club's moved a long way. But there's a lot of work still to be done, and, you know, I'm relishing the challenge still. OK, Andy, I'm much appreciated. We'll catch up with you again in a few hours' time yeah, after the Stratford game. Absolutely. Thank Cheers. you. Thank you.